Are you trapped on the Verify Your Account page after resetting your device? If so, you're probably searching for ways to bypass Google account verification after a reset. Luckily, you've come to the right place. In this video, we'll walk you through detailed steps to bypass Google account verification, including methods that use a computer and those that don't. Let's dive into the solutions. One, bypass Google account without computer. If your device is running Android 6 or earlier you can bypass Google account verification after resetting it using Google Keyboard. Here are the steps. Step 1. On the Google verification page, click the cursor in the blank of email or phone to initiate the keyboard. Step 2. Press and hold that character on the keyboard. Step 3. When the Android keyboard settings pop up, click it. Step 4. Click on the three dots and choose Help and Feedback. Step 5. Click the Using Google Keyboard option, select any text on this page, then click on Web Search. Step 6. Enter settings and choose About Phone. Step 7. Find the build number and tap on it seven times. Step 8. Back to the previous menu and click the Developer option. Step 9. Enable OEM unlocking. Step 10. Restart your device and connect with Wi-Fi. You will find that Google verification is bypassed, and you just need to add a new Google account now. 2. Bypass Google account in simple clicks. If you are available to use a computer, the most efficient method to bypass Google account verification after a reset is using DroidKit, Android Phone Toolkit. DroidKit allows you to remove the FRP lock in simple steps to get full access to your device, whether you lose your Google account or need to create one. Besides DroidKit can also help you unlock screen locks, fix or reinstall the system, recover lost data, and more. Next, let's look at how to use this tool step by step. First, open DroidKit on your computer and click FRP Bypass. Next, connect your Android device to your computer using a USB cable and click the Start button. Now, DroidKit will ask you to choose your device brand. Click it correctly and proceed. After selecting the right one as your device brand, the tool will start preparing the configuration file for your Android device. Once prepared, select Start to Bypass. Then just follow the on-screen instructions to complete some settings. Finally, DroidKit will bypass Google account verification. You will see a completion interface, and your phone will restart without the FRP lock. Let's check whether DroidKit works or not. As you can see, the FRP lock has been bypassed. Hope you can solve the issue by following the methods provided in this video. If you like it, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Feel free to leave a comment below. See you next time.